So let's take an example. This is one phylogenetic tree, right? So we will start with the root. This is the root. This is the ancestor. Now this root is the common ancestor for all of these species, right? This is the ancestor species. We will call it as root. These are the present day species, right? These are the present day species which we are talking about. So now, if I want to study the evolutionary pathway of species F to the ancestor, I can study from here to here. Then similarly, I can study for species C from here, moving on to here, moving on to here, and then finally to the ancestor. I can trace back the evolution of any particular species in my phylogenetic tree just by moving back towards the trunk of the tree to the root of the tree, to the root of the diagram, to the common ancestor from where it has actually originated, right? Similarly, if I want to move forward also, supposedly I'm standing here, I want to trace the evolutionary pathway from this point to species A, I can do that with the help of the phylogenetic tree. Now, let me tell you these phylogenetic trees are basically a hypothesis and these trees are being made on the basis of the data available. As soon as more data is being available, the, uh, the shape of this phylogenetic trees varies. It changes accordingly with the time with the availability of the data, right? Now, this is the root. This is the branch point. This branch point is known as node. This branch point is known as node. Then we have this node. We have this node. Then we have this point A, point B, point C, point D, E, and F. Now, because these are the terminal nodes, these are the terminal nodes, right? So, they are known as leaf. This is leaf A, leaf B, leaf, leaf. Now, this node is at the terminal point of the phylogenetic tree. So, it is known as leaf. When here, they are only known as nodes. Also, these can be said as it is a terminal node. But for the ease, we call it as leaf. Fine. This is a branch. Now, this is a branch. Fine. Similarly, this is another branch. This one is another branch. This one is another branch. Then this one is another branch. The nodes here are known as internal nodes. So, these are the internal nodes. We call them as internal nodes nodes right so i hope that this terminology is clear what is root what is node or branch point what is a branch what are internal nodes what are terminal nodes terminal nodes are known as leaf right so two species consider species a and species b are closely related because the the branching node is near as compared to species c Similarly, species D and species E are closely related. But species A and species E are distantly related. They are not in close. Closeness in terms of evolution. They are not close in terms of evolution. But species A and species E are close in terms of evolution. So the smaller the distance between the two nodes, the smaller the distance between these two branches, the more closely they are related. The more the distance means they are more distant. They are not closely related. Fine. The smaller the distance means they are more closely related in terms of evolution. Right. Also here one point is to be to be considered that as you can see that this is a root. And from this root, near the root only, this branch has come out. And this particular branch is not branched further. It's not, it does not have any diagram. This is unbranched basically. So this is, as per our last diagram, this will be known as the basal taxon. This will be known as the basal taxon. Similarly, this particular A and B, these are only being diverged from a single branch. So when from a lineage, Two branches emerge, two branches diverge. Then they are known as sister taxa. Sister taxa. 
Also, you can call them as clad. Okay. In case a lineage diverges into more than two branches, in that case, we call it as polytomy. Right. So that is all about the phylogenetic tree for today. If you have any other query or any other comment, then please leave the comments in the comment section and I'm going to surely reply to each one of your comments. Right? I hope you have liked the video. Do share it with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. That is all for today. Have a nice day.